Color palettes are indispensable to branding and graphic design, depending on the chosen combination that you can convey different moods and personalities. While it can be exciting to use a multitude of colors in your designs, your content can be just as effective when you create and use palettes derived from a single color, otherwise known as monochromatic color scheme. But how can it be used to market your brand? Welcome everyone to this handy graphic design walkthrough. My name is Alex Taylor, the video marketing producer for Design Pickles marketing team and the resident gherkin behind a ton of pickle themed content inside the jar. And today we're going over the art of monochromatic design. Before getting started, let's go over the verbiage behind the single color palettes. The word monochromatic comes from the ancient Greek word monochromos, which means having one color. A monochrome palette consists of only one basic hue rendered in various tints, tones, and shades. Tints are created by adding white to a color. This adjusts a color's lightness. Think pastel colors like sky blue, marshmallow pink, those are tints. Shades are created by adding black to a color. This adjusts a color's darkness. A color can be dark and still vivid. Think like cherry red or uh, forest green. Tones created by adding gray to a color. So th think both black and white. This adjusts a color's vibrance. A pure color is saturated, vivid, and intense. When gray is added to a color, it becomes duller. It may not sound appealing, but this is how you get those beautifully calm, neutral palettes and earthy tones. Next, select your base color with care. The base color is the starting point of your design. Keep in mind that the color you choose will impact your audience's perception of the final design. In fact, there's a wealth of knowledge regarding color psychology and marketing. So for example, uh, red is powerful and energetic. Uh, green implies harmony and growth, and purple can uh, be luxurious and mystical. While it's important to keep your target audience in mind, and be a little methodical with your choice, it's okay to follow your heart. So in other words, give your favorite color a try. If you can personally relate to the, your brand, there's a good chance your favorite color will work wonders for it. Also, your base color doesn't have to be a dominant hue from the color wheel, like red, blue, or green. It can select a tint like baby pink, uh, kayak brown, or even a shade of like, like midnight blue. Once you've picked your color and expanded your palette, remember that the brightest, most saturated pigment, the one with the least amount of black, white, and gray, is likely to stand out the most in your design. So for example, primary blue may outshine its navy, sky blue, and slate counterparts. Then you may want to consider using fluorescent colors. Fluorescent or neon colors are much brighter versions of the regular hues on the color wheel. Think like neon green, fuchsia pink, electric blue, uh, highlighter yellow. Uh, neon colors reflect and emit more light, so they're quite easy to relay on screen. Just remember that neon colors are more expensive to print. You'll need to ask your printer if they have fluorescent pigments or special Pantone swatches. But if your audience is mostly online, we say go for it. Also, consider going grayscale. Technically, black and white aren't colors, but they're rather shades. You can choose not to use any of the basic hues, opting instead for a black and white or grayscale palette. And then expand your palette with tints, tones, and shades. Using only one color doesn't have to be limiting. You can be as creative as you want and reflect different kinds of brand personalities. Monochromatic designs can be outspoken and expressive. You can achieve this by using more black, white, and pure colors from the color wheel. Because this approach is high contrast, it's louder and more dynamic. You can also turn down the volume with a palette that's more neutral and subdued. Use more tints, tones, and shades for a low contrast look. This result can be calm, understated, uh, and even artsy because of the wider range of tints and shades. You'll also want to pay attention to contrast, dominance, and unity. Because of a monochromatic color palette's uh, simplified color choice, a few aspects of design become easier for your viewers to notice. It's all the more important than to be mindful when it comes to your contrast, your dominance, and your unity. Contrast refers to the way elements are rendered uh, differently enough to result in visual interest and drama. High contrast means emphasis. Because you're using a monochromatic palette, it's no longer an option to create contrast with opposite colors like red and green. Seeking to create contrast with size and texture instead. Uh, so think big shapes next to small shapes, rough textures next to flat colors. Uh, stand out from your other, des other designs by using trendy styles and elements. 
This is especially helpful if you're using neutral low contrast palettes. Dominance refers to an element's visual weight, whether you're using a low contrast or high contrast color palette. Give your main element dominance by placing it in your composition's visual foreground. Unity refers to how all design elements work together and communicate effectively. A unified design is the more quickly understood by the viewer, making it easier to appreciate both the medium and the message. If you were to create a monochromatic look for your brand, what color would you use? Design Pickle's talented designers can bring your monochromatic musings to life. Our flat rate subscription services give you the power of unlimited requests and revisions. And if that means helping you find the best monochromatic design for your brand or game, thank you for watching and take care.